All right, let's get started on this thing. Chapter one, an injured lion still wants to roar. Throughout my life, I've been called many things. I've been called, is really my name, but like Jaren, Jaren, if you add the Filipino accent, um, Jair Bear, uh, and Anak. But what mainly got stuck was Anak because that means child in Tagalog and that's what I get called a lot here at home. So it kind of just stuck. In uh, Randy Pausch's last lecture, he compares himself to a lion. But in, uh, in my case, I compare myself to a piece of gum. Kind of weird, but then like, if you think about it, pieces of gum gets chewed up, spit out, stepped on daily but they still manage to stay in the same place and hold their ground. And that's what I think I kinda am because no matter what happens, like whether I get insulted, teased, bullied, or anything, I still manage to stay in my place and stand strong no matter what. Chapter four, the parent lottery. My family, or the Digi tribes that we call ourselves, are a very large group, but we're always fun. Parties are never boring, family gatherings as well. But out of all the whole family, two people stand out, and those are my parents. My dad is not only a father to me, but he's also a coach. Um, recently, he just uh, started coaching me in basketball since he never really got the time to when I was younger because I lived in the Philippines while he was working. But now that I came back from the Philippines, he's starting to train me in basketball and helping me run track as well. My mom, on the other hand, is like the guidance counselor of the family. She, she tries to keep everyone sane and make things run smoothly here at home. Chapter 7. I never made it to the NFL. Everyone has childhood dreams, and one of mine was to become Spider-Man. <laughs> but that's a little bit too crazy, so um, I'll try to make it a little bit more realistic. One of my dreams is to become a professional photographer. Nowadays, I've been going out with my cousin, Nick, who uh, going to uh, beaches, different places here in uh, California, just so we can take good pictures. And it's a fun experience. Every time we take a good picture that we think is good, we come back home and we have my parents evaluate them. But not in not just photo, I feel like in everything, my mom is the biggest critic. Because since I didn't really grow up with my dad when I was younger, uh, she was the only one around to judge what I was doing. In her point of view, she wanted me to become the best person I could be and do things right. So that's what she tried to teach me every time she judged me on something. Whether it be music, magic, photo, or uh, anything really. Chapter 11, the happiest place on earth. But I've already hit a number of brick walls in life and one of them was making new friends when I came back here from the Philippines. And transitioning from friends that I've already had bonds with and then coming here to make new friends it's a pretty hard thing to do. When I went to Lexington, I jumped into the 8th grade, but it was really hard to make friends because the 8th graders already knew others from like elementary school and the people last year. So I was kind of like the odd man now. Chapter 21 Randy Pausch has his wife Jay, who is his motivation and his inspiration in everything that he does. I myself have a Jay as well. Mine is Maddie Wilson. She is my girlfriend, but other than that, she's also my best friend. She inspires me daily and 
pushes me to do my best in everything that I do. She's like my cheerleader, <laughs> that you can say. And honestly, she's the best thing that's, that's happened to me. She knows what to do when I'm down. She knows exactly what to do when I'm feeling low. And she reminds me every day that she's there and if I need anyone, I can just let her know. She brings out the best in me and I can't thank her enough for that. Chapter 28, Dream Big. I feel like my entire life is half controlled and half free. My parents say that they are really lenient on me, but sometimes I feel like they're the complete opposite. I feel like adults should actually trust kids more because we're young and of course we're gonna make mistakes, but then we are gonna learn from them eventually. Chapter 53, Never Give Up. Ever since I was younger, I used to set goals for myself. I saw them as challenges and little steps to greatness. I've always had that mindset when I was a kid, and I still carry that on to this day. Chapter 56, Tigger or Eeyore? There's Tigger the optimist and Eeyore the pessimist. If I were to compare myself to one of them, it would be Tigger. I try to become positive no matter what kind of situation it is. There are times in my life where it was hard to become positive, but I still try my best to stay positive either way. But for me to become positive, I had to surround myself with people who kept me happy. I have friends who keep me at my best 24 seven. These people are amazing. In my opinion, they're the best set that I'm ever gonna get in my life. They're there for me whenever I'm low, whenever I need them, I can just shoot them a text or give them a call. That's just it. I keep myself positive by surrounding myself with amazing people whether they be friends or family. But if I really call them that, I would just consider everyone family. So that was my last lecture. Sorry if it was pretty long and lengthy. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned on my channel for more videos. Leave a like, subscribe, and all that typical YouTuber stuff. And um, I will catch you guys in the next video.